everybody and welcome back to Naruto Ultimate Engine. If I sound tired, it's because I am tired. Uh, oh. Interesting. We can get these now. Huh. I mean, that's, I guess it's cool. Oh, shit. Look at that. That's nice. 10k? 10k is nice. Hmm. I don't want a hammer though. I mean, it might be worth it. I mean, we get these slower, I guess. I guess it's probably if you fell behind. I get these pretty fast though. I guess if you really wanted to, you could. But I, you mainly be doing it for this, like. That's NK. I mean, these I already got, but yeah, I don't need any more. He would probably be doing it for that. Okay. But we're talking about um today. Guys, we're talking about oh do, 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 do. Eno swimsuit. Uh, cause I'm gonna run her in a team. We're gonna talk about her eight gates. I wanna go over her first. Uh, we still gotta go over Sunite the eight gates, and we still have to go over <sighs> Who was it? Senju Hashirama, I think, his eight gates. And I think yeah, I think that will be caught up. I'm gonna go over her because hers is most recent and I wanted to get hers on there. Now, I didn't read this because I didn't want to know what it did. I wanted to be surprised. But I started leveling her stuff up because I knew I was gonna run her anyways because I, I said I wanted to do a team, a team of the swimsuits anyways. And her base skill was still pretty good. At least not her ultimate, but her passive. So we're gonna see what it does now to make it even gooder. So, so far, uh, let's see. Where am I at with her? Oh, I have to, you have to do this stuff. Which, this is pretty easy. I mean, this is probably the one I have to do right here. For Sinai. The six path, modern, I'm pretty sure is already good. I don't know. Is he good already? I don't think I have him either. I, I do not believe I do. All right, so let's go ahead and read this. All right, so I think the biggest thing is probably gonna be her passive, probably anyway, so that's the only thing I would think that would make her broken because her passive was really good. So let's go ahead and read her passive. All right, increases the ninja's own attack by nine, uh, by attack by 9.2% and increases its defense by 9.2%. Uh, it says it own, is it every ninja? Ninjas, I think it's all of them. Uh, a point de upon deployment, the control immune of your own skill type ninja is increased by 20%, and the Ogi damage of your own skill type ninja is increased by 30%. The effect continues throughout the battle. If there are more than two skill type ninjas, it will increase the damages rate by 20%. In addition, when the ninja's HP is less than 30%, when attacked, it will restore 35% of its HP, HP and the reduce and reduce the damage rate of the attacking target by 60% for two turns and, control, and immune to control for two two turns including okay so this if this gets better we're looking at a pretty good stat because most of the time most of them are skills anyways like Hinata is well she's one of the strongest so she's a skill I don't know if Sakura is I can't remember off the top of my head um, she's gonna be run with at least on my team with Ambu Itachi, who Ambu Itachi is definitely skill, and um, Sasuke Curse Seal. He's not, he's an attacker, but he still has Wind Curse Seal, which is the seal that she's going to be running with is with Sakura. At the top of my head, I don't remember if Sakura is a skill. I think she is or that or an attacker. Let me just make, okay, she's an attacker, I figured. Okay. I was going to say, I don't, I don't remember her being it, but. Hanata is pretty much the strongest one out of all of them. Probably, like, well, this Conan swimsuit though too. So, and Conan swimsuit is a skill person. So she's gonna be run with uh, Conan. Actually, yeah, because I'm gonna keep Conan on the team with Madara because they both revive. Probably gonna put her. Actually, she's gonna be with um, Conan. So she get, makes Conan already strong because so Conan already one shots them. She's just giving more to Conan than whatever. Like. Just make it what one shot more. I, I don't. She's gonna be with run with six path uh, 
not six pack, um, white, white, white mask Madara. So, so you know, that's, that's that. So let's see if this gets better. Increase the only attack by 9.2%, same thing, it's defense by 9.2% upon deployment of control, it only is, uh, is increased by 20%, and the Ogi damage of your own skill summit is increased by 30%. The effect gets used throughout the battle, if there are more than two, uh, it will increase the damages by 40%. Oh man, that is good numbers. That is good numbers. Forty percent is a big number for just two skills. A, a, I mean, she's gonna be run with Sakura, so Sakura is gonna get even more damage resist. My God, this team's gonna tank a lot. In addition, an increase. The ninja's own attack and defense by 15%. Okay. When the ninja's HP is less than 50% when attacked, it will immune control for two turns. Oh, interesting. Including uh, uh, chaos, banishment, taunt, silence, paralysis. And, and frozen, that's good. Frozen's a big one. So that's good. Uh, when the ninja's HP is less than 30%, uh, when attacked, it will restore. Okay, so it's still, still get the, the the restore. And since you your tank you do forty percent less da you know damage resist right, then you might actually get this off pretty frequent. Um, HP and reduce the damage attacking target by sixty percent and damage resist by fifty percent. Oh, fifty percent of damage resist. Okay, for two turns and can be triggered two times in each battle. Wowzers, two times. Wow. Two times during it. Wow. That's a good ability. Youch. That is a good ability. Explosive flower. Throw the explosive flower to the front. Every time the explosive flower flies for a certain distance, a pair of explosive tags and floating in the air will be generated and cause 182.6% uh, points of damage to enemy unit. And it, it and if its own HP will be lower than 40%, it's incre it increases additional HP steal by 20% for, for one turn and increases some damage of small skills by 50%. It also causes an additional real damage of 10% of its maximum health to the target. Okay, so that's her skill. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, uh, it does a little more damage. Okay, to so, enemy, uh, 50% is it? Was that number different? Yeah, it was 40. Okay, so now it's 50. Um, and at the same time, increases the Ogi resistance by 40%. Wait, your Ogi resistance by 45%? Okay. When the ultimate skill is released, it will cause an additional true damage of 10%. Okay. Of the, the, targets, of the target unit's own max HP. So it still has a 10%. Okay. Ogi resistance, really? That's a lot of Ogi resistance, at least for her, if it's on her. That's a lot of Ogi resistance. It will cause an additional true damage of 10% of the target's units in, uh, HP and have a 35% probability to increase the damage of the target by 70% this turn. I hate when it gives you a probability that low to get something that high, but man, that's a lot if it smacks you. You're RNGing trying to get that, but that's, man, if that smacks you, her skill probably kills you then, right? That's what I'm thinking. After influence, she splashes to the swimming laps of, okay, 458.9%, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Increasing the own, wait, to enemy units, increasing its own damage for, its own 40% damage for two turns, and at the same time, reducing the targets damage by 40% for two turns, but I mean, they're, they're gonna be dead, right? When Ogi damage is released, the number of, uh, is counted, and Ogi damage is increased by 20%, the upper limit is 60%. Chances of you ulting over and over and over is, ugh. For each, if the target uh, is an attack unit, uh, crit rate, but, okay, defense unit, defense would be uh, uh, reduced by 80%, Jesus Christ. In addition, in addition, it is 15% and 50% damage rate, and when Ogi is, okay. And, that's the target. Okay, it's absorbed. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. So, G five hundred and two percent, dude. What?
Okay, guys, uh, we're back, you know, with this. I, I know it looks a little different. You probably see why. I'm like, his gold different. This was done on a different day. Had recording issues the day before, so we're going to take part one, and we're going to take this one. We're going to put them together, and it's going to be one video. You guys would have got it yesterday, but recording issues. Okay, now where were we? We were reading this one, weren't we? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just start over just for myself So I remember you know just say over what I was gonna say okay after you know flew up She splashed some swimming wipes water and polo and yellow ducks on the car on the ground causing 502 Which is the highest number. I don't think anyone beats that I think Unless it's maybe one other per I think that's higher than Sasuke yeah, that's probably highest I think. Wait, there might be one other person. I think one other person had 521. I think. I think, but that's that's a lot of damage. I don't think you live that. So points of damage unit increasing its own its own 60% Ogi damage for two turns, which means a lot more damage. And at the same time, reducing the damage of the target by 40% for two turns. Yowzes. Uh, when the Ogi when the Ogi damage is released, the number of uh, so kind of okay. Um, it's increased uh, by 25%. The other one was 60, I think, to the upper limit. Again, ulting over and over is not. It, it, chances are it's not going to happen, but she does have lots of damage reduction in this build. So maybe it might, like her coupled with another damage reduction person, which is what I'm trying to do, maybe they'll be able to, you know, live more to do it. So. Hopefully. For each release, uh, when the Ogi is released, 20% of the target's units attack and defense are absorbed. Ooh. 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 Oh, man. Absorption. Oh, man. Absorption is so good. If the target is an attack type, it will reduce the enemy's crit rate by 60% and crit strength by 50% in addition. If defense type, the enemy's defense will be reduced by 15% in addition. If skill type, the enemy's damage reduction and damage rate will be reduced by 35% in addition. Oh. 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 That's gross. The absorption is always the dirt nasty. The dirt, just the dirt nasty. So, I mean, her, it didn't make her busted, but it did make her great because this, I mean, her whole kit gets a lot better. Busted would be if like, her ultimate like hit two people or something like that you know what i'm saying like but the absorption and then between that and the damage reduction and like like i, I don't like mm. she might be a beast one-on-one -on -one too because like like the ult just kills you but I don't know how inherently she is tanky in a v 1v1. And that's my dilemma. Is that like, if I use someone, I want them to be good kind of all around. Um, not that I'm saying that I'm not going to use her if she's bad in 1v1s because her, you know, team battle is still there. But when I'm basing somebody off of what their, like, strong points are, that is something to factor in. So I, I just don't know how her 1v1s are. I will tell you when... Maybe I get a 1v1 in with her. If I do, I don't I don't know how, how, how strong she's gonna get. So you know, that's Yeah, that's that. But I got her here because a day passed, obviously. So I I just need her weapon again. I don't see an event to get her weapon, so you know, haven't been able to get it to unlock it. And she still needs to get speed. Which is why I don't have her on the team yet. But I still want the rest of the team to get up to the 2,000, so at least everyone's at 2,000. 
and May is the only one that's not there, but the problem with May is that May is going to go off my team. So for a hot minute, my team's going to be a little bit on the lackluster weak side, and I hate that. I hate it. I just don't like it. So, but yeah, I mean, her her eight gates is amazing. I think it's going to be great. Um, I'll show you more when I get her on a team, um, but it might be a minute, so don't, don't hold your breath, because that's bad for your health. All right, go guys. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. Uh, sorry about getting it the next day, but you know, that recording issues, I can't really do anything about that. <laughs> but I love you guys, so, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.